This is the mechanical inspection for single and three phase induction motors and it will be a more visual test. What do we inspect? Inspect the keyway on the rotor or shaft, turn the shaft and inspect if it's bent, rotate the shaft and listen to the bearings, inspect for bearing end play on the rotor or shaft, inspect front end plate for cracks, inspect cooling fins for effectiveness and fan cover, mounting inspect inspected for cracks and looseness, inspect fan for visible damage, inspect fan and bearing end plates, inspect terminal block, inspect if nameplate is fixed and if data or information is legible. So here's a motor and we'll get right into it. As we can see there is the key, the key looks pretty okay but I've got the insert with, with, for a damaged key and you can see there that could be just wear and tear or a bad load but it should not look like the insert so next we have the shaft and the, the shaft must be turned and if there's any sound coming from it it could be that the bearing is shot and that could be because maybe the shaft is bent but you need shaft alignment for that so just put the ear to it and generally it uh, would turn freely so next would be the front bearing and you can see there it's housed behind there's some parts sticking out and those are examples of bad bearings and uh, usually you could also see if there's play between the bearing and the shaft and that would also be a bad sign so uh, if it turns freely then there's no problem also right in front of us is the front end shield that front cover and usually that is intact but if there's a crack or a hole then that would never be good for the motor itself because things can go in there and it could cause damage and so further we should have a look at the side now What's coming up is the cooling fins and that is uh, literally physically the outer cooling of the motor and it should be intact, it should be in a good condition. This is almost like a heat sink and so either air would flow through it and cool the motor and that would also be able to dissipate a heat that comes from inside. Other than the cooling fins on the outside we have the base or the mounting it is a, a fixed a plate uh, that is actually fixed to the motor and there is four holes on the on either side is two all of them should be in place sometimes you would find one is broken off that's never good for the motor because this motor must be mounted and fixed properly to decrease vibration as well so it's never uh, good if the, if it's loose next we look at the fan cover and you can see this one has got a bit of damage there where the rust is but it's not significant so that's the fan cover and you should look for for major damage and even if it's fixed uh, with all the screws that protects and covers the the fan or the blade at the back inside is a few things three more items to look at so we have that plastic sticking out there, there's the fan, it's not a good view though but there's some arrows showing you, uh, turn the shaft and you can inspect if the blades is okay, that is important for the cooling of the fan and it should generally just run freely and there should be no damage, generally things can be stuck in there, maybe dirty workshop or the motor's not covered, the back end shield is behind that and that you can also just have a quick look you can't it looks like the front one really and maybe from this point you can maybe see a crack in it which is not a great thing also turn the shaft and put your ear to the back area and the same as in front there should be no noise coming from the from the rear bearings which is right behind that fan so again never good if there's sound or noise coming from the bearing 
we're almost done and two last items this is the electrical connection or termination box and uh, this you do absolutely last um, there should be a cover if you remove the cover then uh, all the screws must be there and be fixed again all the connectors must be inside there should be no unnecessary holes except for the cable that comes in there should be an earth stud and so this one you do absolutely last in your test just in case that box has been left open for you to do your inspection then lastly the nameplate very important it must be fixed even if it's hanging on one screw it's not a great thing but you can't condemn it and of course it should be legible there clearly we can see all the information if the information is not there or clear then how are you gonna figure out or know what type of motor this is that is the end thank you